This week from Crumble, we are going to be trying a frozen hot chocolate. And this one looks like it's already been chewed. <laughs> we'll both this one is the red velvet white chip. And then we have a holiday birthday cake. And then a snickerdoodle and eggnog. Okay, so we are going to be trying the frozen hot chocolate first. It is a chocolate cookie with hot cocoa flavored mousse and mini marshmallows. Ooh. Chips. Looks good. Has those big, uh, big chips. chips. That, yes, I love them. They're yours. Okay. It does remind you of hot cocoa. It does. Mm -hmm. It's a very chocolate mousse kind of yeah. flavor and texture. It, um, mm, that's good. The, uh, the, the top on it is not as sweet as the, um, as like the, the cream cheese frosting. Yeah, it's still pretty sweet though. But it's, yes, but it's a nice chocolate flavor. Mm -hmm. And it does remind you of like a hot chocolate drink. Yeah, what's good about that is it's not, most of their chocolate cookies, I won't say most, some of their chocolate cookies are kind of darker chocolate. Mm -hmm. That's a very sweet chocolate. I agree. I agree. That's more like um, if you have, if you ever bake just a chocolate cake, that's a cho a nice chocolate cake. Yeah. It's sweet. It's yeah. A, but it does remind you of hot cocoa, so I like it. And the marshmallow was really soft. Yeah. It it's more for decoration than adding, I mean, add a little texture, I guess, but. It, uh, it, well, I wanted to point out it's soft because it's very fresh. Yeah, like when you stale. first open that package of marshmallows, you know how soft they are, but then if, if they're in the air a lot, they can get tough, yeah. kind of like a peep. So it's if you not don't get like yours that. on, if you don't get yours today, you get them later on in the day. Yeah, you yours might be, might be tough, tough. <laughs> but yeah. After they sit for a little while. Okay, now this one. <laughs> it's very rough. <laughs> It's interesting. Um, that cookie has a story to tell. Yeah, we don't know what happened to me. It flipped over in the pan or something. Um, red velvet white chip. A red velvet cookie with white chips. Do you want but the thicker I, or the thinner? Um, I'll take the thick one. Um, it is full of white chips. Oh, yeah, I mean, so look at that. Which I love that. That's, um, I love the texture. The texture alone makes that worthwhile for me because, well, and I got the thick part. So yours was thinner, but did you get chunky pieces in mm -hmm. yours? Yeah, the chips have a, a firmer, like crunchy almost. Mm -hmm. Not crunchy, but firmer. But mine was crunchy on the outside too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's a good cookie. It's not a... It's not a really overly sweet cookie, but it's good. I don't know that it reminds me really of red velvet necessarily. It is very different from the one before it. Oh yeah, completely. So, I'd actually rather have the hot cocoa over that one. Oh really? Yeah. I wouldn't. It's sweeter. I would rather have the red velvet because of those, I think the white chips really sweeten it up a lot. It does. And they use so many. I mean, that's just amazing mm -hmm. how many white chips are in there. They do. I um, think what I'm missing for as far as the red velvet goes mm -hmm. is the cream cheese frosting. Yes, I, I do like having cream cheese frosting on red velvet as mm -hmm. well. Um, I, I really like it's it, good. and I do think it's 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 the the first one was sweeter, but I do love those white chips and that texture mm -hmm. of it. So that's to true. me, it, it is a good red velvet cookie. Um, the third one, I'm assuming this is just going to be like a regular cookie. I don't know. Maybe not. It's a very thick cookie. Look how thick that is. Daggone. <laughs> Holiday birthday cake. I mean, a, that one you're going to get your money's worth out of, but that's really good. A cake batter cookie with vanilla cream cheese frosting and red and green sprinkles. Love the frosting. 
My favorite frosting. Um, and it does taste like, it does have a vanilla flavor to it. Yeah, it tastes like birthday cake. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're looking for a birthday cake flavor, that's it. And I love how thick that cookie, I mean, compare that to like this red velvet as far as thickness goes and there's just no comparison. So of course you're gonna get overload, an overload of sugar on mm -hmm. that. But I love it, I think it's delicious. You're mainly, for me, I'm mainly tasting the vanilla oh, yeah. flavor, the cream cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. The cookie on the bottom, I like the cookie. It's not a nice texture, but honestly, it's just a place to put all that goodness on yeah. top. <laughs> yeah, that, that cream cheese frosting is really, really mm -hmm. good. And I've said that a hundred times, you know, that's my favorite frosting they have is the cream cheese. So yeah, it's cream it's, cheese is first. Buttercream is second. <laughs> the sprinkles did not make any difference whatsoever. No, I didn't even today. feel the crunch of them. I didn't either. Uh, so they're pretty. They're nice and Christmassy. Mm -hmm. But um, they, yeah, they don't make any difference to the flavor whatsoever. No. But this it does one, dress it up though. This one is winning for sweetness. That and then uh, the hot cocoa. The hot uh -huh. cocoa one's pretty, pretty sweet. And you are, like Kevin said, you are getting your money's worth because it's so big. It's so big and thick. Okay, the next one is Snickerdoodle. And this is a vanilla sugar cookie coated in cinnamon sugar. I don't think it is. I like when they're a little underdone in the middle. Has that darker, I do too. That darker area. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole reason you're buying crumble for the most part. Texture's terrific. Yeah, I like the that texture's, crispy outside. The texture's completely different from the ones before it. Yeah, this one's not like any either of the, the first three. Mm -mm. It's more of a denser cookie. Mm -hmm. But there is a crust on the outside. Mm -hmm. The whole outside is coated in a crust. Mm -hmm. um, That's good, it's not a super sweet cookie either. I'll, I'll be honest, I really like the cookie. But it does not have enough cinnamon sugar on it for me. It's snickerdoodle, so yeah, it's, it's really. I wish it had been a uh, a thicker, more. Um, I wish it had had more, just more, uh, more cinnamon sugar on the mm -hmm. outside. It is. Um, it's. It. They. They definitely rolled it on there. They definitely rolled it in the cinnamon sugar. But it's 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 just not enough to. It's so light. The cinnamon's really really light. Um, the, the cinnamon is only on the outside. Yeah, the cookie it's itself, so light. The cookie itself inside is just a regular sugar cookie. Yeah. So if they'd mix cinnamon in with the sugar cookie, I think yeah. it would have bumped it up a little bit yeah. more. Yeah. But, but it's just so so like everything about it, the texture and everything. And would I would I recommend it? Yeah, I would recommend it's it. It's it's a good cookie. I just want more, <laughs> and uh, so I wish it just had more to it. I think that's probably going to be your the least sweet option this week. We'll see. We got one more. I can't. This one has frosting on. I can't imagine this one. Yeah. I'm excited for Kevin Ooh, about this cookie. cookie because I love eggnog, but Kevin. I like. I love eggnog. <laughs> Kevin loves eggnog. A sugar cookie. So it's a sugar cookie. Topped with eggnog buttercream frosting and a sprinkle of nutmeg. Yours didn't have as much nutmeg as mine, I'm sorry. Hmm? It had enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's You don't want to go heavy on nutmeg. That part of the middle that has a lot more might be too much. Yeah, you don't want to go heavy on it. That's like a cold, flavor. cold cookie. I like that flavor though. You know, even for it to have frosting on it though, I mean, I know it's over the top sweet, but it, it doesn't come across as super sweet. Mm -hmm. It it does uh, remind you very much of eggnog though. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, if I take a bite of that, I know that's eggnog. I was worried though, because I thought, um, 
are they going to be able to pull this off? You know, are they going to be able to pull off this this eggnog flavor? They did. Yeah, they, they did, did a, a good job. really good job. And the texture of that cookie is different than the one before it, mm -hmm. and different than the one before it because um, it was that was a more done cookie. Yeah. It was crisp. Still very soft though. It's soft, but it's it was. It had a thicker, crisper layer on the outside, like it's baked longer mm -hmm. than the one even before it. Um, it's a it's a completely different texture. Um, but your sweetest one of the week is going to be the, oh, the birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> big boy over yeah, here. Yeah, the hundred percent. That's uh, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's sure. what I would call big boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a very thick cookie. Pretty um, full when you eat that one. Yeah, but what would you say is the second sweetest? Probably the chocolate one. Although no, I would say the eggnog because the eggnog. because the eggnog I think it uh -huh. just doesn't seem as sweet because it's it's got the spices in it because the the nutmeg did does break yeah. up it does cut the sweetness yeah. a little bit so it doesn't come across as sweet but I think but it I is, think it is. Like, I yeah. think it is and then the chocolate the hot cocoa one um, after that I don't know it's, okay it's so kind of a toss up between the cinnamon and sugar and the which one are you picking again one um it's probably gonna be the birthday cake I'm too. The, 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 yeah. Although that's really closely followed by the eggnog because I really, really like the eggnog. Uh -huh. I'm going to go with red velvet for my second um, because I um, like those, those chunky, the, those chips. It's a little more done cookie too. It's, it's, it, it is, is but, I, but I tell you what, I just, I just really like, yeah. I, I, cause I like underdone. I like ooey gooey and all that, but I just like those chips so much. I, this week, if it was me, if uh -huh. it was this week, I would get a four pack. Uh -huh. I would get two birthdays, one eggnog, and one uh, the hot cocoa. Okay, so you wouldn't get frozen cocoa. So you wouldn't get the snickerdoodle. Uh, is that no, what they're calling it? Snickerdoodle. Yeah, snickerdoodle. Yeah. Snickerdoodle or the the red velvet, I wouldn't get. Oh, okay. So if I was gonna get a four pack, so you said you would get two. So you kind of cheated. You're getting two of one cookie. I got four cookies. I know you can get one. <laughs> you could get four of the same darn cookie. Yeah, but I want to. I want to vary a little bit. Um, okay, if I can get four, I'm gonna get one snickerdoodle, two birthday, and one red velvet. That's those are the ones I'm gonna get. Although I, I really do like the the uh, eggnog. One. There's no losers this week. Right? No, there's really not. It just depends on what you're looking. I mean, they have chocolate for the chocolate lovers. They have some of them. It's for a sweet everybody. chocolate though. If you're looking for a darker chocolate, it's yeah. If you're one of these semi-sweet people, then uh, yeah, don't I, I, I don't relate to that. <laughs> so was it easy going this week? Oh yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. ready? Did it's they have crazy. to add anything while you were there? They put the frosting on this one, and they sprinkled. I think they put the marshmallows. On I'm the sure the mar. I really wasn't watching. Truthfully, I wasn't watching when they did the chocolate. Those were very fresh. Um, but they did the swirl on the birthday one, and then they put the sprinkled nutmeg on the eggnog. Okay. So it's going to be varied. So it depends on who's sprinkling the nog. I mean, the nutmeg on yours. It uh -huh. could be really heavy. It could be really light. It could be light. Um, I do have to tell you, next week uh, there may not be a video on Monday. And I know I'll still get questions next week if it happens. You may not get a crumble video until Tuesday. Yeah. So or, we'll, or late Monday. Or yeah, it might be late Monday. Maybe it, it, there. It could be, but. I, I'm thinking more like it's going to be Tuesday and you always have to this time of year uh, you always have to factor in what's the weather like in our area too because there might be times I mean they're calling for snow right now but that's not the reason why but they're calling for snow so you just never know what the weather's going to be like to where it's not worth Kevin risking his life to travel to the next town over because that's what he's doing to travel to the next town over to go through snow and ice or whatever so uh but next monday yeah you may not get one until tuesday or it may be monday night i just wouldn't want you to think oh you know something's happened or whatever no this is planned so i just i want you to be aware of that so i hope you enjoyed the video there will be lots of pictures for you at the end and thanks for watching We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.